Hey everyone, um, I'm super excited to have Mattia Coutini. We just did a little practice. I want to. I was like, I want to make sure I'm saying your last name right, and I'm shameful. I have an Italian last name, but can't speak Italian. So I'm so excited to have you on the stream today. This is going to be a blast. Thank you for coming on. Thanks to you, Jazzy. <laughs> of course. Now I I am going back into the other way. Yeah. To talk, no? More, we more, just... pol more polite. Oh no, not at all. We were just talking about before we started the stream. Yeah. Um, he was telling me how to properly pronounce my last name. Um, it's Belli Bellini. Yes, and then also telling me the origins of where my last name is from in Venice, and and you yeah. invited me to come to Venice and, and show me around, which is pretty absolutely. Amazing. Be before the 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 sea would go too much high. Yes. And they flood everything. You, yeah. you must come you have in to visit Italy. before then. Absolutely. Yeah. I was supposed to go. Um, I was supposed to go to Italy back in June um to florida we were going to go to a few different places and then of course uh it wasn't a good time but it was i, I, I can't in, wait as as we have told last time uh, i have to go in, in new york in may yeah so basically we are we are in the same boat exactly all the, all the, all the world is on the same boat yes <clears throat> exactly um I'm super excited to have you on. It looks like everyone is popping into the stream. Thank you. Yeah. Definitely pop into the chat. Hey, Sparrow. Uh, she just said hi to both of you. Um, super excited to have you here. As we're streaming, you guys know the drill. Ask questions whenever, um, whatever you yeah. want, and we'll make sure yeah. to answer them live. And yeah. we'll just have a combo. Hey, Walton Design. Nice to see you here. Um, so I, I have I have to open up uh, YouTube too, so yeah, I I can read. You can the names. if you want. I'll also yeah. say the names and the questions out loud too. Yeah, so because too. some sometimes the the, the 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 way that you you say the name is not the same that I have in my mind, uh, so I cannot understand. No, only because of nicknames, you know. Sure. Yeah, Sparrow yeah, is is Sparrow for me. It's Elam is Elam for me. Of course. But when 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 you say other other names, I cannot <laughs> understand. <laughs> That's fair. Properly. That's fair. Um, I wonder if I have a mid, I, if I have a Chicago accent. You guys tell me if I do. I don't think I do, but we'll see. Um, <laughs> Claudio Fox said, "I want to go to Italy, Sardinia specifically." Oh God, I, I really want to go visit there. Well, it'll happen. Yeah, it'll Sa happen. Sa Sardinia. Sardinia is amazing. It's basically a desert, a desert mm -hmm. with with the sea around. It's beautiful. I, I, so, what part of what time? What part of Italy are you in? I am in the northeast of Italy. Mm. Okay. One hundred kilometers from Venice. We are in the in a corner mm -hmm. between um, uh, Slovenia and Austria. Okay. And uh, it's a place um, that it was not so Italy in last okay. centuries. Okay. It's even more Austro-Hungaric uh, place mm? with, with 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 a lot of of um, invasions. Okay. Mm. And so this thing. Uh, Maybe have uh, have uh, uh, make us from Friuli what what we are. We are some some way shy, some way uh, closed closed in, in in our place also. But um, when you find a key, <laughs> we have plenty of things. And this is incredible because in this one hundred kilometers, there there is me, there is uh, Massimo X zero. 6C, there is a Catao, there are some guys from Pordenone, there is another city right here, wow. and then also in Veneto, that is really, really here, there is, I suppose, uh, Vans Design. Oh, yeah. May, maybe it's near oh. here, too. Oh, I didn't yeah. know Vans was mm -hmm. Italian. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. I lived in Italy. There, there, is, there is also, um, in, in uh, Udine, um, Prometheus. Okay. Ale Cotton also is from here. There's a lot, a lot of uh, yeah. Italian creatives. Sky, Sky Golpe is in Italy, but is in the other side of Italy. Sure. But wow. we have co connection also with these kilometers behind with us. And then after all, I, I, am, I am even more uh, near to Austria than other places in Italy. Wow. Yeah, this is this is the incredible thing about it. About yeah. Wow, that's so beautiful. So have you have you met up with artists that are in the area? Like do you guys 
know each other personally yeah. outside of yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, with, with with Massimo Francesquet I had uh, basically he's the guy that has introduced me to the crypto hard thing Amazing. and uh, I I had uh, maybe more than five or six years I, I know him we, wow. we have done a, a, a small path uh, in in, uh, in uh, performative arts okay so my my path is is, is so strange because I've started doing uh, synthesizer player and uh, keyboards, mm -hmm. and then the graphic part was in support of, of this thing. Okay. Then uh, after my song was born, <laughs> I didn't have time and or, 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 or situation to play because like a child, yeah, to sleep. So basically, I switched to performative art, wow. and and then uh, in this. Four or five five years, the, the, the graphic part is is become bigger every every day, every year. Every that's, that's interesting. Because I, I I was used to do these things 15 years ago in Deviant Art, and there was a sharing between people and a lot of talk about uh, how you can do things. Then uh, social platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and so on have basically broken all all these links between people. But now I'm finding again that, that people and and I understood that similar minds are, uh, are reaching together. I, I am meeting people that I was known, I was talking with them 15 years ago. It's amazing. That is so amazing. That's yeah. that's awesome to know because I was actually going to ask you how, you know, you started, and that's interesting that you're starting. Yeah, it is interesting because I have always had this technical mind in my studies are in electronics and uh, I was only always um, interested in these nerd things okay but um, I don't know what 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 uh, was happening in last year of, of uh, high school high school is called in your yep. place before before university yep high school yeah yeah uh, I had this thing that that uh, to calm down, I was uh, starting to 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 do doodles, okay, and writing down things and writings and some things like this. Um, I wasn't a street artist, but I was really really uh, fond about them. In fact, yeah. also now I'm wearing some some stuff. Of this is Corn Stantanova, eh? he's a guy that does does street art in Italy, and. Uh, that that word really really interested me and then uh, i started to use the technology that I had, I had at school to do some uh, some scanning some things like this it was not so easy because if you needed uh, computational power okay and i was not in the right place to do that things and there wasn't already uh, open platforms like Arduino and like other things like this to to think around. Right? So it was it was some some way some way difficult. Jump ahead about four years maybe, and then at work I had a complete access to a Xerox machine, and then I started to put stuff up on the Xerox machine. The funny thing is that my dad was the guy that was operating on. The, Xerox machine and, okay. and, and also and also basically all these points, all these things around the interest in, in books, in fonts, and all came together and I started doing things like this. I discovered because I was at work and I have uh, access to, to the web uh, DeviantArt, so a community to share my things and then I started to know people around. Wow. Then I started to, to play local bands and so something like this i had a ton of uh, you know music is a really unsolved problem for me <laughs> i've played uh, 10 years maybe and now it is coming up one more time this thing i, I haven't sold this thing uh, and then in these two three years i restarted my graphical pattern and this all started with this a Kickstarter project. I know uh, it's, it's, it's all, it's all um, mirrored in my screen. Do you see? It? No, we see it perfectly. Okay, because I I I, I was um, pushed by by a friend of mine. That's beautiful. 
because um, Kickstarter was doing make make 100 things, so it was pushing people to do 100 pieces of something. But these are not like this. <laughs> the interesting thing is that they are laser cutted. Oh, so that so you <laughs> created them on the computer and then yeah, you laser cut them. Exactly. And, and, cool. and, and, and these are an algorithm because uh -huh. the two, these two squares that you can see have a fixed position. So to have 100, mm -hmm. I have reused the same position. And when you see that the number is 93, is a position for the nine and a position for the three. When it's 23, you will find this block in the same position, but ah. this one no, not in the same position. Yeah, <laughs> so I, I have found an algorithm to, 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 to make easier to me this thing and and there was, there's a lot of things about this we, we can do another live all, only about no project. i'd love to know more it's really interesting to me so how how do you even like what's the i'm not familiar with this with that type of work and and i would love to know how you even start like yeah. are you dreaming up these designs first like, I, will, it... I, I will i will tell you is yeah. is always starting with the doodling okay Okay, I love this. Do you have the doodles ready to show us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is I awesome. Am. I love the art I, behind I, it yeah. too. Yeah, and I was really behind. You don't have no one that is so behind. <laughs> Basically, I was started doing these things in doodle. Okay. Oh wow. Only with, with, only with pen and with with uh, with markers. Then wow. I have photoco I have used a photocopy machine. I have assembled this first. Um, this first uh, prototype, you can see that they have used the tape, it's all tape, yeah. it's all, all messed around because I, I, I prototype, I do a lot sure. of prototypes when I do my stuff. Also, this, this thing. Then uh, in 2017, uh, I have talked about this thing with, with, uh, with the guy at Cobo Shop, that is uh, the only place in my, in my city that does some art thing and books and cultural things. And uh, we were talking about this and he said me, he, he, he's called Steve. Steve um, said me, not Stefano, it's really Steve because he, he was born in Canada and then everyone called him Steve. So okay. Steve. And he told me, yeah, it was it is great, but you have to, to maybe to cut it. Oh, cut, cut the paper. Then I have started to do prototypes with the cutting machine, the, the ones that are the plotter, okay? But these angles are really, are really, mm, is an issue for the machine okay. to do this cut because the, the, the paper tends to tear, uh, tends yeah. to, 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 to broke, to break up. Sure. Then in the same time, there was the make 100 thing in Kickstarter, I put all together, I have made a, a small, a small, uh, small, some small text you can find in the, in the page because in, in Kickstarter everything is, is there. And basically, I've started to, to, to do these prototypes and things. And there was almost 50 people that, that uh, funded this, this Kickstarter, and then I found out the place where to cut the sure. uh, things. And this place is here where I am now. Wow. So yeah. that's crazy how that's because come full circle. So yeah. you, know, you, work, you work, you have a studio in the place where yeah. you're yeah. Is, This is the co working that is called Linus and Co. Now we can do, yeah, there's a light. You can see in that small place, oh, yep. la, la, there's the, the, the laser cut. And okay. we found a, a solution to cut the, the paper. Mm -hmm. I have found a, another guy that uh, has uh, said me, OK, I will, I will buy the, the, the paper for you because it's, it's very strong and very, very thick. And uh, this is what I do. I see stuff around that no one uses. 
Okay. And then I put all together. The last thing that I found out is this beautiful cardboard. Okay. Yeah. And then I even down some boxes. Some okay. boxes to put my artwork artwork thing. So That's it's awesome. like it's, it's like this. I recycle everything. Yeah. Even too, even too much, even too much. No, no, that that's yeah. amazing. It's it's so interesting to like look at the materials before you create the art yeah. with it and think uh, back about that. I always come back to to, to paper. I I don't know what I will do, but I is always paper, paper in books, paper yeah. when I think about a material to, to make a, a prototype, uh, paper also to, to make 3D stuff because I know to, to fold paper. This is a, a thing that, that is not came, came out too much in the crypto art thing. But this is an amazing material. Every time I think about it, it's, it's crazy how you can use paper. Yeah. You can crumble it. You can you 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 can make even sound with paper. Yeah. <laughs> I have I, I have I have uh, also a, a non-profit organization. I had I was used to have two: one for music and one for entertainment. Now there's only the one for entertainment. Sure. <laughs> so I can I can also work. And basically, yeah, we we have, we have this this crazy this crazy lab, lab, laboratory for for child for children and. Mm, we use paper to, to play because with paper you can you can do um, every every single kind of sound because sound can be generated by percussion, by slapping, uh, by uh, like blowing through it. Yeah, yeah blowing is exactly yeah, because I'm fine <laughs> the new word. And with paper, you can do all, all these things. And yeah. then the child art, you know, crazy paper. That's so cool. And what yeah. I mean, what a cool um, thing to give them also for when they're at home. They don't need an instrument. They don't need anything. They've learned how to create with paper. And it gives yes. you this, them this, it plants this seed that you can be creative with anything. Literally anything mm -hmm. that you have, you can tap, you can do, yeah. you know, whatever. Yeah. So that's yeah. very yeah. cool. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's the, the, the perfect game. <laughs> yeah. Even oh, better than, than a mobile phone. Also, <laughs> you cannot tear, um, you cannot tear a mobile phone, oh, yeah. you break it. <laughs> no, exactly. That you probably don't want to make music with unless you're just playing a sound. No, no. Um, in the chat do, we, do we have uh, some questions? Yeah, in the chat while we were talking, um, uh, Matt Cain said beautiful laser cuts, um, and I yeah. think Matt can definitely appreciate you know the stuff you do. I have, I, I have, I have, I have, I still have some of them, uh, maybe two or three in physical forms. Sorry, I, I, I am, I am, I am going out. But oh, that's okay. I, I will take with me. Okay. No, that's amazing that you're showing us your studio. I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but later, later. <laughs> One thing. <laughs> One thing at a time. Yeah, here, here we have two. Here we have two. But I have uh, almost two or three in physical form. Mm -hmm. But I have also token tokenized them with Pixura, mm -hmm. all 100. Because one day I wasn't able to have my computer. I have only this tablet. Oh, what I have to do? I have nothing to do. So we have tokenized one by one, one by one. Yeah. Yeah. When, when, when tokenizing cost what was costing only one dollar. Right. Now uh, I think I think that maybe five dollars, six dollars because something you have to crazy. Pay one dollar plus the gas. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. To it's technology. Been, yeah, it's been a weird a weird time for sure with tokenizing. Um, also, Sparrow said Matias' physical glitches are so amazing. Um, yeah. And uh, Claudio said she has she has the one in physical form. Also. She just she actually also said that uh, getting artworks from Mattia is like having a little Christmas. They're so beautifully wrapped. Um, Thank you. Oh, uh, and Claudio is interested in getting Sp one. Sp Sparrow. Sparrow wants one. Wants one, 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 make, make me cry every time. Aww. <laughs> Sparrow's yeah. amazing. I loved the episode that we had on on the show with with Sparrow. Yeah, please. Um, yes. No. Absolutely. So I would love to know, like, where you where you get your inspirations when you're dreaming and doodling of these different pieces, like. 
what are you thinking about? Do you just come up with them in your head or are you looking at nature and looking at music to, to okay. find these things? It's, it's, it's interesting, this question. And uh, sometimes I think about uh, uh, these things. There are some ideas that came up uh, in moments that you say, oh, it's like this, I have to do this. I, I, I give you an example. I was driving, but it's not here. Oh no! But no, no. I, I will, I will say you in, in my words. I was, I was driving, and then I said, "Oh, no one has done a, a wheel of colors in hexagon form." You know that the color, basic colors are Chano, Chan, Magenta, and, and Yellow. I don't know why people say red, blue, and, and Yellow, but they are Chano, Magenta, and Yellow. And then I imagine this hexagon. With these all small hexagons, but, but it, 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 was, it was like it was like crazy. I was driving. I had to, to, to park my car to, to doodle down, and I had the doodle. I had the doodle here. Yes. Okay. And I had, I had to, to doodle it down because it was crazy. But the majority of my ideas came out when I, I am doing nothing. Okay. When I am doing nothing, I have to stay and look at the window or wash the dishes. Now I can because I have the dishwasher, but <laughs> maybe I have. Uh, maybe you should still know. wash dishes by hand just to get inspired. Yeah, yeah. This uh, is the first do doodle. And you see, oh, it was RGB, okay, but it's the same thing with sure. yellow, which channel and magenta. This is even even easier to do because when you have four, four, four rings, you have also the black. but. Basically, is the, is, is the same thing. And it was well, days, not days, maybe 2019. Mm, I don't, don't think so. So, so um, is this happening that normally the ideas come together and then all the things that I, I take around, they are come together. But um, what I can say, if you want to have inspirations, you have to look around you, in mm. nature, in other works, in museums, in, in, uh, in books, in whatever you want. You can find good ideas everywhere. Now I'm studying uh, this, this book that I was, I was showing you uh, yep. before. It's, it's about, uh, about fonts, about uh, making fonts. And this is so crazy because it's oh, printed in these three colors. Or, or, or all other things that I, I, I am always curious. I always be curious about packaging. When I was a child, I always used to make the milk and look at the instructions or the, the cereals. How do you call them? The, the cartons, the milk cartons? Like, yeah, do do yeah, milk, yeah. but also the, the, the thing that we put in the, in the, the milk. The cereal. Cereal? cereal. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It was. I was saying perfectly. The cereal boxes that are all the informations and all the blocky things. And then I I put all this stuff in, in my things. This is my catalog. I put always the material. This, oh, this I thing love that. This paper. I love you that. You can recycle. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's important too. What is? Wait. What is that? Mean? What is the umbrella? The umbrella is that you have to protect it from from water. Oh, I see, I see. I've no, I don't know if yeah. I've ever seen that symbol. I don't know Europeans. <laughs> so that that's it. Shall we have a walk in the space? I would I don't love know that. What, what, what I would people also is like... is asking. Yeah, no, people are just chatting about your work, but I I also do still have a I have more questions, but we can walk around while we talk. Um, I also wonder yeah. how you. How you come up with the colors that you're using when you pick colors? Is it just do you do you come up with them afterwards or? Okay, maybe? I'm a black and I'm a black and white guy. Yeah, I love black yeah. and white, but you have some you have some with colors for sure. Yeah, because I, I find I find also colors around. This one is is the new new new, new series, and basically, if you see. It's only black and white. This yeah. is rubber stamp, and, and you have black ink or you have red ink. Hmm? 
Mm. When I use other colors, I can use orange because I love orange so much. Or if I have to do uh, basic stuff, I use Chano and Magenta. Mm. And you can also see this thing that is an old school trick. <laughs> It's just with them Yeah, okay. exactly. Is 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 the old thing about uh, two colors, one 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 on, on each other, okay. and uh, this is like when you was used to print one color one on each other. I've, I have reproduced it by chance in a, in design. It looked cool, so basically I have I have created this bunch of, of mandalas also in in channel in channel magenta because I was trying those other colors, mm -hmm. but then go back to the basics, maybe sometimes is better because there was already a ton of other things to put together, what uh, what thing to choose and what not. And this is why now that I am in this digital residence with Playform, I am going. Uh, to create this series of work to feed the artificial intelligence and I go by steps. So step one, black and white. Step two, black and white and red. Mm. Step three, even more stuff. And now you can okay. see, I can do a walk one more time. Yeah, how big is the new series that you're working on? Now is nine, nine, 90 pieces. So wow. uh, be, because the artificial intelligence needs uh, 30 pieces, to, to, to start the, this, this creative process. Okay. But who, who knows if I will remix them in digital or if I, I break them. Because when I'm not happy with my work, I break it. I was just going to ask about that too. OK, so you break it apart. Yeah. And I reuse the parts if they are okay. If not, I, I, I take it away. So you can see the three series, named A, B, and C. Okay, <laughs> naturally. <laughs> yeah, because why are you using other things? I think I go I go up, upside down. So this is the first series, the black wow. and white. Oh, I love I love this second to the left. But you you know. Mm, now I'm using all all the, the the squares because I have also other symbols in right. my in my in my stamps, but I want to, to to stay easy. And when you do too much the squares, the artificial intelligence says, "Okay, you like these black squares," and he creates a ton of these black squares. Right. So I tried to add color and also to not stay in the grid, which okay. I really like that. I think yeah. that's amazing. I, I, have, I, have, I have to 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 trick the artificial intelligence to say, OK, it's not so easy. <laughs> especially, especially when you're working with something like a square, where it's already, like you said, back to the basics. It's a basic shape. Instead of sticking in an exact grid, I like how yeah. they're forming different yeah. things. In, in, in fact, in fact I, when, when, when I was started this thing, I, I I've said to me, okay, you have to be super precise. You have to stay in the grid. Is not the way because you can do it with the computer. Yeah. When you do, when you do arrows, is even more beautiful. And this is the last series. This you one's way see. different. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I was already doing this, but now I am do like like a meditation. Okay. Like like if if you have to do. It to, to think about and to recreate. And now I, I found uh, the, the right balance in these three series. And uh, we'll see what, the, what, uh, what will happen. If we want, we can see the first uh, creative. Uh, yep, I have the, the screen. If you, if, if, uh, if you yeah. want, I can, I can Go share for with it. you. Totally. And we did have a question that came in. Once you once you share, uh, I'll read. Yeah. Right now. Okay. Now I share the um, this a a series. Use it like an input, and then the output. Hmm? Okay. Then I show you the same material used in input, but in mandalas. 
like my old stuff yeah. because I, I, I wanted to stress up the, the things and to see what artificial intelligence is, you know, it's not, I'm not, I'm not to use, to use artificial intelligence because I, I know that people is not using artificial intelligence like me. Mm. So basically, I am creating this mad thing, and I don't know if I will print, I will do channel type, I, I don't know what will happen, but I, I am creating, creating, creating a feeling, I don't know, something will happen. That's amazing. It's, it's interesting that you're taking physical, handmade stamped work and putting it into an AI exactly. to create something I, based on that. This is... Like, Totally. This is the, 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 main, the main thing that, that, that pushes me to go, to go ahead. Are you seeing? Wow. Yep, we're seeing uh, your screen. The, these 30 pieces that you can see, they are the input material. I have uh, digitized them, and then I feed the artificial intelligence. Wow. Hold on, hold on because the, uh, the window of Zoom was tricking me. You know what you this see? looks like to me? when you look at it all next to each other, it looks like a whole like town looked from the top view and you see different yeah. farms and houses. It's yeah, very yeah. cool. Yeah, in fact, in fact, this new series, uh, it started like a spin-off of another series. Then I will, I was doing that, the large pieces on cotton, on canvas, okay? And, and then there, there, there was this thing to do maps, to do constellations, to do these, these islands, okay? Mm -hmm. But this uh, artificial intelligence have also create all wow. this thing. And the amazing thing is that you have all the steps to create ah. this. And it's like a ga the game of life. You know the game of life, Conway game of life. Yeah. When you put the, the pixels, they create the, the other one, and, and, and these are looking good, but if you do the mandalas, wow. okay, the, these oh, mandalas are the cool. same, yeah, the same, <laughs> don't say too much loud because I'm getting crazy, you know, you have too much material, yeah. No, it's good, I don't, it's I, I don't know, I don't know what, I will go away for five years, <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. Anyway, if this is the input, the artificial intelligence cannot understand what to do and tries to do a mix of oh, the two things. Uh, goes 45 degrees or 90 degrees and say, oh, what is best? I don't understand. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's getting me so mad. So what I will do is to create the same thing with the red, red and the red and black. Okay. Yeah. And also the mirror red with mandalas. Because if you put too much information, it's too much. Okay. Right. And, and, and then I try to use the output of the artificial intelligence like an input. I like to refeed, oh. refeed this. Mm -hmm. In fact, the um, black and white mandalas and the magenta and chan of, uh, mandalas was created using my own material. Okay, this one are, are, are the black and white. Mm -hmm. Every single square is created by the the, the artificial the play form thing. Hmm? Here I don't have the output, but in the okay, okay. this yeah. series, I was always creating thirty pieces because the artificial intelligence needs thirty pieces and no more. Right. Okay, these are the inputs. Hmm? And then, do you have the outputs also in the book? Yep, because I had this disease okay. was made after the lockdown, so I had the, sure. the chance to go to a printer shop and not to print at my home. I have called them because I, I like to, to categorize things. It, it helps me also when I do uh, this large series, okay? Maybe there is the block you want, maybe there are the line, so you, you, you can do categories to, to, to extract the best, okay? Yeah. So I call them blob, cross, flower, grid, hamburger, and noise. These are, are the blob. Wow, I love it. Okay. It's so interesting how the AI becomes more organic. Yeah, than yeah, yeah. This is 
the cross. Yep, I can see that perfectly. One day I will print also this, but I have to study the upscaling, how much. And the, this is the this flower, is the, I'm yes. assuming. Looks like a flower. <laughs> You're very good with naming these. It's very direct. Grid. I saw, I cheated on that one though. I, that one I know because it's the only one left. Hamburger. <laughs> yeah, because there are Chan, that, uh, this one looks... Chan, Chan and Magenta hamburgers. You know, the, 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 the central part seems like an hamburger. And it then, looks almost like, wait, go back to the hamburger page. There is no, noise. Noise. What is this one? Noise. Oh, noise. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Okay, go back to hamburger. So for me, it the, the like the big one with the um, magenta in the middle, it looks like two dinosaurs like about to eat each other or like <laughs> talking to each other. Okay. And then I on totally, the top and bottom, so I, it has four I, of them. I will, I will tokenize this and they will and call it hamburger <laughs> dinosaurs for Josie. Perfect. Yes, that's what it looks like to me. Um, and these are only the first two iter iterations because yeah. I have also tried with hexagons. I have tried also with mandalas of mandalas <laughs> and tried to feed the hyena to find out these the strange things. But now I have understood that if you put the uh, high resolution images uh, in, in, the, in the system, you can find out uh, better, better, better stuff. Because I, um, I have tried this, um, I understood this, because I have uh, digitized all, all, the, all, all these new series, and you can see also the, the small points of the grids. Okay, I, 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 because I'm a lazy guy. Okay, I. I You're not go lazy. To, 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 to the print shop, <laughs> to the print shop, and I tell them, okay, print this with all these grids uh, in black and white, and then I put my, I go to understanding. Yeah. And, and then the AI. The, the gun, what do you yeah. call it, have reproduced also the grid. So I have found a way to digitize, compress images, upload, have the, the perfect fit between image size and resolution to find out this output. So the quality of input files goes also in the output. That's awesome. Wow. I love hearing about the processes behind everything because it's, to me, like I initially was really in when we when I first was going to have you on was really interested in how you create the rubber stamps and like carving them and like and trying them out and trying different colors. And now it's just my mind is open to so much more. And the way that you're forming everything is much more important than just the we have. Itself. We have also in this work, uh, working um, a machine to to do prints. Yeah. So we have also another idea to put these rubber stamps in a machine and then mm. phew, it is it's that another really level. Cool. It's another level, but I, I don't know. I have also a ton of things I are ready to, to do. Yeah. Here I, I have produced also the, the, the catalog of two years of tokenized dark codes uh, in rubber stamp, but are not the physical ones. These are only the tokenized. So oh, interesting. Uh, so you have only this, but I have a ton of unpublished material, yeah. even more from my back Xerox experiments and graphical experiments. And also I have produced uh, the, the, like the, 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 the fonts. Font. Yeah. Or the fonts with the rain intervention. Oh, was this <laughs> actual did. Was it actual water that was yeah, on it? Yeah, because, because I have put the, 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 the paper. Uh, it looks good. It looks really cool. Right, right up above a window. And then it was impossible because the window is, is under, under the, the, the roof, OK? Uh -huh. under, basically, it has rained in a reason. Like blowing it in. But I was in, in, the, in the moment that I was producing these things for, for a physical exhibition that I had last year in Venice. City. And then I said, okay, it's like this. That's because how, yeah. brain intervention, how can I say? But it was a full font, you know? Yeah, wow. 
I guess that page and, you you should put and, and now and board. now the the, 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 the crazy the cr yeah yeah <laughs> crossed <Okay>. out <laughs> yeah, got it now, now the interesting thing is that Martin Lukas Ostakowski I hope yeah. to have said it correctly mm, is doing this because he is doing the clouds with rubber stamps oh. and then he has said okay let's put under the clouds really the stuff wow. he's doing these rubber stamps with rain intervention or atmospheric intervention. Sure. Really cool. Yeah. Wow. I love how you okay. can add in so many. This um, is the 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 the, the, um, the, the first uh, message I've said to sent to you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, I about that. this, but you, you I, I haven't do this because it was uh, it was wrong. Okay. It was wrong. This is is bleach. Oh. It looks really because, kind of awesome. Be, be, because it was too dark. Okay. It was too dark. And then I said, okay, let's put some bleach to see how it does. And then I, people ask, oh, it's good. Give it to me. Okay. Because I, I think that there is also the, the right version. I don't know. Oh, yes. There it is. Oh, uh, yeah. That looks really good. Yeah. I love that. I love how you you celebrate the different processes, even if someone might say, oh, it's messed up now, you know, it got rain on it, or the bleach isn't exactly how it turned out. I like how you just yeah. include the they processes. Are, they, are, they only think that they have not too much time to communicate everything that what happens, because right. if I have to, to, to do all, all these things day, day by day, basically I don't work. I only produce things for, for people. Right. Uh, and for the moment, this is what I want to do. Is is what I can can do. Yeah. I hope to to find even more time or even more money, maybe to to do also to share to share more about the things because I have some procedures, some some things that I have understood that people around the world doesn't do. Yeah. I have searched a ton of times if if other people do does a rubber stamp like me. Or maybe they are to, to uh, like a, like a secret for for someone, but I, I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. I share I, I share everything. Yeah, um, we did have some questions come in while we were chatting. If you want to answer some things, the large mandalas. Oh, yes. Oh, perfect. Um, I'm ready. That's beautiful. By the way, everyone was loving the mandalas. <laughs> They're all saying, "I love the mandalas." Um, some questions that came in. Uh, a first question. Will you sell some of your artwork on Nifty Gateway? If they invite me. Okay. Well, you can could, you could reach out to them, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That that would be. I, I don't know. For for the moment, I, I'm I'm uh, I'm selling a super rare in known origin. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with with them. Uh, so. Yeah. Yeah. They, no. they, they 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 was the, the first guys that uh, believed in me. Uh, so. All right. I don't know. I don't know. How do you? Um, Walton Design asked. How long do you spend creating one piece of artwork and how do you know when to consider something finished? Oh, this is a nice question. Um, if I have uh, some uh, planned, okay, pre-planned work, like this, Lovely. this is a, fo a, a font uh, designed by me and then rubber stamped. This is basically maybe some hours of uh, of understanding in illustrator how to do and then maybe also one hour to half an hour to to rubber stamp it so basically two or three hours okay if i'm creating something for the first time maybe i can also have even, even more longer time the, the first time that i have created the animated mandalas because in super rare there are also the tokenism these these guys okay but in movement before to create it i have spent a lot of time thinking how to do it mm. okay so is maybe a week or 15 15 days when i'm doing rubber stamping in small format but i i can create a bunch of 16 in a in a morning in four hours because i already understand how sure. to do how to do the, the things the first large rubber stamped uh, was taking six hours of, of work oh. and when it's and when it's finished is, a, is another great question there's a balance in in my works 
in my abstract works, okay? Because these are pretty simple. Right. Maybe everyone can say, okay, ABC and so on. Uh, but when you have abstract, I don't know. There's a balance that comes naturally in my mind. I, 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 I just look, I look at it and, and I, I found out how figures and how movements are coming. And then I say, okay, it's this way. And also, we have to understand uh, what's the reason now that I am creating this series is because I have to feed the artificial intelligence, okay? When I, when I have to do an abstract thing because I, I want to do it, is another, another way, another path. That's fair. And the, I like that, I don't know, I like, I like how to hear about the different processes and, and it makes so much sense that when you're creating something that is really direct, like a font or something like that, you plan it out and you work on a grid and you create that. But when it's something else, um, especially when you're you're creating work and then feeding it to an AI or feeding it to a machine or whatever. It's, it's, more, it's more natural. It's more yeah. like, like, like have, having a performance, a performative act, right, okay? Right. And you're doing it because you need to do it because you have to push that, push out some energy. Yeah. Like, I cannot explain in other ways. Yeah, for, yeah, this, for, for this moment, it's like this. Maybe tomorrow I, I will change because I, I will do something different. This, this is a, a thing that is so round. I know, yeah. but I am, I am like this. <laughs> um, Domenico Barra, I'm sorry if I'm sorry. Domenico, yes, okay. altered data. Okay, um, asked, what type of training are you applying? After how many cycles do you print out the works? Hmm? I maybe, maybe I have to read it because I haven't understood. What type of, uh, what type of, tra it's, it's like, one, two, three, four, five. After how many cycle you print out the works? Ah, okay. Of generative, of the of the generative. Um, oh, the generative part. Yeah. Yeah. I usually I usually do all, always the the, the free form. Uh, in, in play form, there is a technique that is called free form. Okay, and those fifty thousand uh, iteration. Oh wow. And it creates 64 artworks, but multiplied for every thousand artworks. So it's 64 multiplied by 50. So they are ton. Okay. And then I used to, to pick the 50, the 40, the 30. This because when I was creating the first series, I have finished the money. And then I stopped at that 30. And then, okay, I use this. So I use 30, 40. And then I pick up these things, I catalog them, and then I refeed probably okay. the no in the machine. This week I will understand because this week I was uh, doing the enlarging of the, the last works because Playform has now the upscaling thing that you can basically do these squares. It's so strange in the webcam. With the mirroring, yeah, yeah. Well, but I, I, have to, I have to puke. <laughs> Basically, this this thing now measures four thousand pixels. Okay. So the the whole thing is sixteen thousand by wow. sixteen thousand. So you can print one meter and a little more. Sure. In inch, in inches is forty eight inches. I suppose. Wow, wow, that's very big. And uh, some of this we will be able available at the shop of Playform. The the guys are are, are creating it in these days, and uh, we have decided to to recreate also this in even more bigger sure. uh, form. What I do that is completely in a random way is to note up things. Because I have understood that my mind is getting old. And so I do things like this. OK. Hmm? Or things. You are lucky because I have to today this one is not so. 
but also in the software I use in design to plan the things because he has the, the links so I can go back in the history and to and understand right. what files Yes, it was That's pho really funny. Photoshop. I, I, I was, I was, I was completely lost. Yeah, it's it's annoying that you can only go back so much with Photoshop. Mm -hmm. It only has like the last. And you don't, you don't, have, you don't have links. Right. Nothing. I, I have, I have also. Okay, this is interesting. With wow. with all this, the scheme and and the the, ti the timings for doing the animations. Sure. Wow. But because if you want to do fluid things. You have to, to, to pitch a, a bit because so sometimes the, 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 the process of the artificial intelligence creates something rough in the beginning and then it's more interesting. So you have to, to pitch a bit this thing. And then, thank you of, of, this, of this book, I have found out the, the right names about the files and then I, I, I have enlarged them and now you have done Wow. So, these bigger things that that's, basically that's is the, fi the first time is the first time that you have printed the first oh, time wow. ever in before the lockdown uh, it wasn't it wasn't nothing wow that's crazy and it's it's it looks really beautiful behind you it's a perfect backdrop yeah <laughs> we are so lucky then i print down stuff and then select uh -huh. them also yeah but i do a ton of things wow it's really cool to hear just this process of how each level you're transforming it more with like different like hand yeah. created yeah. like things or technology sources. I, I use, I, it is strange because, because I, I know I use everything like this a photocopier. Okay. In the photocopier, yeah. you can, you can refeed it a ton of times. I was used to do this. Okay. Enlarging and using it in the prints, okay? Wow. And then put stuff together. And then basically is, is what, what I do, uh, what I do with software and then, then printers. I, I, I recycle things, I put them together. And when, when I'm happy, I think that it's finished. But sometimes happens that after years, I pick up something and then say, okay, I can remix this or I can destroy it because you grow, I suppose. Yeah. And and the way that you that you look at things changes also over time. And this is the beauty of, of this work, I suppose. Yeah. No, absolutely. Um, we had another. Um, oh, Sparrow said some of these are also in our async piece TXU totem. Yep. That piece yep. is really cool. I've um, created uh, four faces using uh, the the blocky. From, 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 from Playform, and and this is strange for me because when I, when I arrive to a, a form that reminds uh, an existing thing, okay, like a face, like eyes, for me is always difficult <laughs> to interact with, and I, I tend to 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 put away from my mind. I don't know why, because I have done also in rubber stamp something that is okay. It's a dog, it's a girl, but my mind says no, okay. It's like this. Everyone knows that. <laughs> I don't care, so I tend to to forget this. Huh. I don't know why. That's interesting. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, it's cool to see the different styles, though, because. It's interesting with the work that you're doing, people can see what they want to see in it. Like you saw a hamburger, I saw a dinosaur, and it's not explicitly telling you what to see in some ways, but it gives you your no. own meaning to it, which no. is nice. No, no, no. no? It's, it's only a feeling. In, in this co connects with the, with, the, with the past, the previous question. When it's finished, I don't know. There, there's a moment where the soul face, the, the thing it speaks to me and says, okay, yeah, leave me like this. Yeah. Do not do more, please. It's finished. I'm done. <laughs> and and then people say to me, okay, in this, I say, I think to, to jump for these pieces, okay, I think to jump into black and white areas and I feel differently. Or people say to me, okay, this speaks to me and, and, and says to me that that is 
a way to think or other thing. Mm -hmm. I had promised to you to, to show you also that the big folded ones, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be amazing. So, so we will pick up one of the last because, you know, now I am documenting everything. Look, small Polaroids. Insta oh, I love that. On, on everything. That's so because, smart. Yeah, be, be because uh, now I have to do it, the things properly, you know. People is asking me things, I have to respond to them. Hey? That's beautiful. This is the box. I love the packaging. It's funny. Uh, woo! This is all folded up. And this is on paper or is it on canvas? No, it's on canvas. Okay. This is this was the, the, the previous sure. thing. It, uh, always printed with the, with the grid because I'm lazy. Okay. I don't think that. And, okay. and, and, the, and, this, and this, the photographer also said, oh, it's like a small, uh, a small, um, a small sculpture. Okay. So yeah. you can also have like this. Yeah, that's true. You can, you can display it that way too. Yeah. And you told me, you told me that you like to fold your canvases up, that it's yeah, something. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. The, the, there was this guy, Wade Guyton, that is even more famous than me, that um, was selling these posters to make with inkjet. And I've, I've seen them and I've said, oh, these are the folding paper, the folding, okay, I can do the same. I love, I love this because it reminds me paper, but on paper, this thing, um, tends to uh, to fade away, okay? right? And just be way more fragile, I'm sure, with ripping. Yeah, yeah, like absolutely, that. absolutely. And this is basically the new things that I am working on. Oh, cool. See, this looks like the, it literally looks like a real city, and those are the two main roads. Like, I just see yeah. that. That looks so cool. And now I cannot look at it anymore because you have said this. <laughs> Sorry. No, But it's no so way. cool. And I love, and I mean, I can you even can see. see. You can see that it's on blue yeah. also. I don't know why. And some yellow. I'm still thinking how about this ink, how it interacts with the canvas because I yeah. don't even, maybe it will stay this way or i will paint it or i don't know sure and and, and then you... go go oh i was just gonna say the cool thing with the squares that you're creating is that the way that they're stamped with like different pressure gives mm. some that give like white spots that it doesn't stamp all the way and then that yeah. looks like oh there's a tree there or oh there's a little pond there like it's cool that even within those okay stands. what we will do i will scan a top of these and i will send to you and, and i'll name them do whatever you want <laughs> no name Perfect. remix do whatever you want I don't all know. right uh, that's very yeah, yeah. cool we had some more questions come in um yeah uh fabiello asked uh matia is one of the most artistic men i or men i met in crypto art my question is do you have your own way to free yourself from external daily conditioning and be so free in creativity? So a way to just get away from all the craziness and like tasks in a day and like fully focus into being creative. Science fiction. Hmm, interesting. Do you like read a lot of <laughs> science fiction books? I, 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 I was used to, now I watch a ton of science fiction, the, the more I can. Okay. But also, I am uh, in, a, in a lucky place where you can go out and go in the nature, in forests, in the seaside, whenever you want. Also, that is, is a thing that has me unconnect. But uh, the fact that these uh, artworks are physical, and then in the second time become digital helps me to okay to switch up because if a, a, a morning i want to work and i don't I don't want to have the computer on i basically pick up my rubber stamp and then i rubber stamp all the morning and i mm. unconnect completely from what happens outside and it, it is also a form of, of meditation yeah 
because the repetition of this, especially in, in, in the big, in the big right. pieces, that one is two, two, two days of work interrupted, obviously, obviously not all, all not, not 48 hours. But this thing of doing this, this rubber stamping method, it gives me the time to think about and to unconnect to, to, to things. Sure. And this is, it is incredible because it's the first time that I have a practice that it's, it's two years I'm doing this and I'm still not bored of this. Yeah. <laughs> it's incredible. It's that incredible for me. Yeah, that's absolutely amazing. Um, an interesting question, um, Walton Design asked, with a lot, of, a lot of digital tools that can randomly create abstract art now, uh, do you think that changes the way that people evaluate and value abstract work compared to someone like yourself that puts so much thought into each Yeah, piece? but I, I think that it's, it's another, another tool, you know? Uh, it's like uh, when people have invented uh, the typewriter, oh no, now no, no one will write uh, by hand. It's the same thing. It's not also an, another tool that you can use to understand more for, for, for me, this, this technology is like having a partner, okay? That you, 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 okay, now I have done this. Look at this and tell me what you think and even produce more things for me. It's, mm. it's really cool. Also, I have some physical in person partners who, who they gives me information about the work and they say to me, it's okay, it's not okay, especially Sky Golpe, I have a personal, uh, link with him and, and the collaboration and we basically uh, we was used to to, to talk with, with each other um, almost every day now i have the digital residence and uh, and i cannot but but th this is another tool we, we, don't, we don't have to see look, to look at these things like they, they are wrong or something that that will change uh, too much of a way to think. So I'm not, I'm not, not worried about uh, evaluation or things like this. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that definitely makes sense. And it's interesting also, um, I was actually talking to Matt Kane about this the other day, how, at least for myself, like, I never really share process pieces with, with, like in the middle of the process with Twitter, but also just with like my fellow artist friends. And it could be interesting. He was saying it could be interesting to sh start just sharing more with each other about the works in progress. Yeah. You know, mm. and it's interesting. I, you have, I, I, you have, I have to do that with. Yeah, yeah, I have someone. I have also the TXU guys, the same mm -hmm. guys that you have in the, the async piece. Right. We are also in that group. We talk each other. I have also because of COVID now, but also before, I have uh, issues with Italian uh, graphics and artists. Hmm. They are so close in mind, and I don't know why. Interesting. I didn't. I I wouldn't have guessed that. So it, you just mean like people who people who you know that aren't specifically like in the nft art space like people that are doing no it. no I, I i think i have had this first uh, link with nft and crypto art two years ago mm -hmm. and i was working in another co-working in not this one another one and basically i have told everyone okay there's this thing uh, look at this but they tell me what was what's the meaning of collecting this digital thing that we right. cannot have it okay I have changed the co-working, I have changed in that place. I have gifted a ton of, of editions. Hmm? After two years, people now is calling me, asking how yeah. to do this thing. Wow. I have, I, have, uh, I have talked to you two years ago, and, and this is why I have created Adoption. This, okay. this small uh, gallery, let's say, it, in known origin for the moment, that I can tokenize uh, stuff for other guys. Okay. And that they care about communication, about uh, presenting them and give them a chance uh, to, 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 
to enter in the in this 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 game. Yeah, absolutely. That's amazing. Good for you. And it's it's interesting. I mean, to have people for so long be like, none of this makes sense. None of this makes sense. And then all of a sudden be like, yeah, but oh. it's, 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 it's crazy. Yeah. Because, because I have also said this to, to, to my fellow co-workers right, right here. And then I said to them, OK, now we have to meet this guy <laughs> two years ago. Right. Just like this. Please co come with me. Right. Because yeah, no, that it's is stra it's, stra it's strange. It's strange. It's, it's strange. funny how that happens, right? Um, mm -hmm. If you guys have more questions in the chat, feel free and pop them in. I'm going to start asking you some of these uh, questions that I normally ask at the end that are, that are just yeah. kind of fun. But I also, before that, I want to know, I want everyone to know where you're on Known Origin, you're on Super Rare, and you're also on Async. So you have a lot yeah. going on. Um, in a lot of different places to find your work. Um, do you have anything? From, from uh, five days ago, also on Ephemera, because of uh, Jessica, Jessica Angel invited me for, oh. for, uh, for, for, for the photographical part, because I was used to do this ink stacks and, and Polaroids. And uh -huh. so there, there there's, the, there's one of my Polaroids that I was used to document my work oh, cool. and other things. So I have async, super rare, known origin, rareable because it's like yeah. open sea, um, and Pixura to tokenize uh, uh, external things because wow. I, I, I have cre created it because of the 100 pieces. Right. That's amazing. You're, yeah, you're but a lot you, 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 find, you find everything in my link tree that is link. Oh, I cannot spell it in Italian, in English. Link tr dot e, e slash Mattia C, C product with a K. Okay, yeah, and it's in your. I, 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 I have I have I have to simplify it. Yeah, it's in it's in your bio on your Twitter, so people yep. can see it there yep. too. Um, so I have some of these questions which are just kind of fun. Um, what what is a skill that you wish you had that you don't have? Excuse me? I can Like a, a skill that you wish you had. Like some people say they wish oh, they could sing. A skill. Yeah. I, I can say to draw better, but okay. but uh, I I have also had my my times when I, when uh when I I was drawing good. One thing that I want and I will arrive at some point, is to mix music yes. and, uh, um, and physical, because I was pretty good in computer music. Not to that playing, be awesome. because I, 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 was, I was so rough. Like, I am rough with rubber stamp. I am rough when I play. That's okay? cool, though, yeah. But to mix, to mix together these two things, also with electronics, maybe to understand generative music like this generative the, 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 the graphical part yeah when, when i i will make a, a, a physical thing about music that i was planning before of covid because it was a physical thing okay when, when I, I i i had finished that i will restart to produce music and then I love that, that skill will, will arrive to mix together music and uh, because also people is asking me sparrow for example says me that he has a, an artwork and he said this artwork sings to me yeah she <laughs> and said now, that in the chat and, too and and, 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 and you know we, we 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 think of the same yeah uh, and then, and every time i think oh how how this thing speaks to her and yeah. sings to her. What is the music of this thing? Yes. I don't know. I really don't know. That's amazing to also think about the music that you're creating, the work you're, you're creating by hand. And even when you start thinking about the generative work and thinking about the song that changes when it's a piece that's fully by hand versus a piece that was part of the AI. Yeah, you, but you know, you know, you know when, when I was doing the sound sound designer for these performative uh, uh, guys, mm -hmm. I was using natural sound to make artificial, artificial sound to make natural. Ah, 
for example, to do a, a fire, the, the sound of the fire, I was using plastic things. Mm. To, 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 to make a plant grow, uh, no, the contrary, well, it was... was um, fire makes sense, because uh, the crinkle, crinkling yeah, of... Like... Yeah, but I, I was using artificial sound to make natural sound, and natural sound to make artificial sounds. Huh. I, I was used to, to go around and sampling maybe uh, trees and stuff like this, and then I, I break up the things to sound completely artificial. I have also broken some uh, some plates because oh. in, in one performance the, the girl was used to smash these uh, these plates, and then I pick up the, 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 the real sound and then I break it like a completely synthesized thing. Right. And, and this is what I'm doing with graphics. So That's maybe cool. one day I will mix down these two these things together. Yeah. But I repeat, I have this problematic moment with, with music. I have to solve it. It's okay. Pretty, it's All right. Well, now, now we're reminding you to solve to solve that yeah. on this channel. Um, what, what? I hope so. Yes. Um, what's your favorite animal? A oh, random question, but it's fun. Uh, we used to say that the dog is the favorite animal, but, but just because I, I didn't have animals when I was okay. young, and then after I met my girlfriend, that's now my my how do you call it the the, the, the special uh, wife fiance partner. No, it's not wife, but is partner. A lot of Imp imp important, uh, how do you say that? Okay, and my girlfriend. Significant and, other. Significant, significant other. other. <laughs> right. Is that a significant other? Now he, 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 has the, he had this dog. And then I, I created this link with this animal. But that, I oh. cannot say that it is all the dogs. It's that okay. dog. All right, I like that. So, that particular dog is your favorite animal. Yeah, the, fi the first and only. In fact, I said I, I don't want any other dogs after I this. I love that. Only that. Um, what is your favorite place on Earth, near or far? Oh, my gosh. Uh, my favorite place is the, the one that, that I, it popped up in my mind. Two? Can I name two? Yeah, sure. OK. One is on the seaside. Like here, here, uh, near here, it was used to do the, to go there in the summer, mm -hmm. and this is this month. Uh, also, the right moment. Uh, you cut out a little bit, so I heard your first one um, is the seaside near you, and then I didn't hear after that. I'm sorry. Okay, the seaside. I was used to to, to, to go in this apartment in this. In okay. this this, this part and then in, in the late evening uh, I have to use the translator because I don't know how to say rondini in English. Fortunately I don't know either. <laughs> Swallow right the the the, the small bird that came uh, oh, oh, in sure, spring yeah. There's a bird. And, 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 and there's this magic moment in the seaside. I go out and these uh, birds go around and pick up uh, insects to, yeah. to give to, to, the, to, to feed the, the, the baby child. Birds. Yeah. All this super fast. So, and then, boom, and then go around. It was incredible. There was a particular moment and particular place. Perfect. Wow. The other place is, 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 is uh, there's, there's, there's a hill near here that is really great. Okay. So two, two places. I don't All know right, why. I love that. The first two a places. A hill and that, the seaside. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, what? Um, this one's interesting. It's hard for some people to think of this one, so maybe it's not a good question to ask, but we'll see. Um, what was cool when you were young, but is not cool now? So whether it was like some okay. technology, I can go. I can go out and think about. Okay, the the, the first thing that that uh, that that came out um, in my mind, what was cool is, is a, techn a technology. Uh huh. The 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 Walkman with the discs, the yeah. Discman. 
okay, there was uh, some guys that was using that to play the, the, the sound to play upon on that. And it was so cool. Now, if you talk about that technology, they say, oh, it's shit. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, 16 bits. I don't know. It's so, so weird, so bad. Yeah, okay, and, and also and also some blaster, some blaster was so good. Okay, okay, I don't know what that is, but do you know? Is is no. the, the the first cool inter audio interface for computers? Oh, okay. It's called some blaster. Okay. Yeah. Sixteen yeah. sixteen bits. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. What what year did that come out? Do you remember? Excuse me. What I said around what year was that? Sound blaster. Uh, 1997, 96. Okay. okay. I'm old. No, I always wonder because, uh, so I was born in 94. So it's interesting <laughs> also. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting for me to hear the different things that were cool when people were young. Oh you my people. gosh, you was three years old. Yeah, I was a baby. You were so young. Oh my. <laughs> Um, there is no one born in that year. It's impossible. Except me. <laughs> but it's funny, everyone I have on the show, it's funny to hear what they was cool when they were growing up because um, it's sometimes they were growing up in the years that I was born. So it's mm -hmm. interesting for me to hear. So maybe that's a selfish yeah. question. Um, but you, I have to do a, a, you have to create a book after I that. I don't know about that. We'll see. <laughs> um, would you want to live forever? What do you do I want? What what? What'd you say? Excuse me? Would no, would you would you want to live forever if you had your health? If if I I want. Yeah. But with not with well, not, not 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 with this body. No. I I am I am waiting for Google Soul. Okay. To have a full backup of mine. Okay. And don't understand when, when stops the physical uh, life and yeah. grow up with the digital one. Okay, awesome. I like that. You're gonna upload your 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 brain onto the. I, the I don't know. I don't know. I I like I haven't solved my my relationship with music. Also mm -hmm. with that, uh, I'm still, still working working about. It. All right. Um, okay, last few questions. First one is Bitcoin or Ethereum, if you had to pick one? Ethereum. All right, that was easy for you. And then last two questions is, number one, the favorite, your favorite NFT that you own, just one, if you had to pick one. I have to think about it. Can I? Yeah, you can, can, think and, you can tweet about it after if you yeah, can think about one here. Yeah, Be because because if I choose one of the guys of TXU, then I have to say. That's true. Um, That's fair. You can pick a collab piece maybe or. Mm, right, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. I, no, guess I, 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 will say, I will say that one of the first uh, NFT that I have bought from Officinas. Mm -hmm. I think it's Pe Pebbles, Pebbles, how can you okay. say, S Sassolini, is one of the first things that I have said, okay, now I, I have this and I have supported this guy that I don't know, by the way, or I was on the chatting, and it was um, a good uh, a good sensation. Yeah. Okay. No, to, to support directly in this fast, so fast way. I love that. And um, the last question after that, maybe it's easier or maybe it's harder. If you had to pick, or if you could pick one NFT that has already been created for free, any NFT out there, which would it be to own? For free, one NFT for free. That's already out there. Yep. There was. Maybe. Mm, uh, 
the Doom Party of Xcopy oh, on a sink. Yeah. That was such a good one. <laughs> it was so crazy. Yeah. Even, even the idea. Who has got the idea of doing that video with the smash with yeah. you guys? And just it was, it was it was perfect. This is this is the thing that has got to do art. Yeah. Talking about the time that you are and saying what it is. Everyone was getting crazy with Zoom and things. So you put you put in, in art what, what you have to say. And this is not my case because I cannot do that things. I'm so angry with this. <laughs> That, that's a that's a good choice though because it is so representative of yeah. the time. But every now. every every time Xcopy does this, so what can I say? Right. He's lucky for for that. some reasons, so unlucky maybe for some from others yeah. because he cannot unconnect from reality. Yeah, hmm. and he has got to do these things to put out the soul. But it's only my idea. Yeah, I love that. That's a good choice. We haven't had Thank that you. one as a choice yet, but I I love that one. Um, Next time, you, 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 have, you have to send me before. I have to prepare you. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, I guess some of these questions, uh, you don't you don't want to uh, pick a certain one or something like that and be like, oh, you forgot everyone else. But no, those are great answers. That was amazing. No, be, um, because I, I, I am always mm, so mm, my piece in a, in a sync art that is really simple. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, no one has done before something mm -hmm. like this. Also with with, the, with this technique of oh yeah overlapping is is always the same. It's always the same, and, and this is uh, what I'm trying to to explain. Use old school tricks to younger guys because they always know, know about do three D things and all complicated stuff, and then there's yeah. too much of work in this two D thing. No, no. Yeah, no, it's amazing. It's nice to see just the total, like, huge range that this community has of yeah, the different absolutely. techniques behind every absolutely. single one. And I want to take also some dancers and some singers in this because we don't have performance. Yeah, we need that would it. be amazing. That would be amazing mm -hmm. to have that, those experiences. It's interesting having those experiences tokenized to be able to experience them again and forever. But also at the same time, it may it is such a different feeling than seeing it in person. So it's, it's yeah. interesting. Yeah, uh, this is a, another good question. How is the good way to digi digitalize something? Because when you go to a theater to see people dance, is is complete. Right. But if you do a, a correct uh, video of this with multi-angle you can capture even more things yeah. and this is this this is another thing that goes in my head how how to transpose maybe is the same soul okay of the world but seen from different angles i don't know yeah that would be interesting this, this, this is this is a thing that that, that that i lack in this moment because of yeah. covid and because i do a, a lot of physical thing, right. but I, I want to, I really want to explore. I hope to find the time to explore and I hope that this virus go away yeah. to restart also these things. It would also be amazing to see those sorts of performative arts like in virtual spaces in VR. It, of yeah. course, Ilan cutting, Ilan cutting yeah. he d does this in known origin. He has got these small loops that are performances of, of the avatar doing yeah. things. That's so interesting. Yeah. It's amazing yeah. to think about how that's going to just transform and grow over the next years, I'm sure. And, and in, in, in fact, I, I, uh, I'm just uh, looking at it and say, oh, OK, we are in the future. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, this was so awesome. I'm really thankful that you gave us not only such an amazing stream with telling us about all the work that you put into everything, but also showing yeah. us your notebooks, your working process, the new series, okay. the art behind I, it. I, I have a, a ton of things, a ton of books. A, a, what I can say to people around, read books, inform yourself with books and not only with the internet, because the books are still one of the best ways to understand things and take note of what you do. Yeah. Because you never know what will happen in the future. That's great advice. That's amazing. 
Um, well, thank you so much for for thanks to you. Just giving it us was a, a, re a, re a real pleasure in a, in a perfect moment because I am in the middle of the digital residence and yeah. we will uh, I will understand more in the future. Re 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 seeing this. This is amazing. And, and I will, on, um... on fifteen on fifteen of December we will have uh, the webinar for Playform. And so awesome. We will uh, talk about uh, this uh, this process. That's amazing. I will also update the links in this Twitter um, or this YouTube video. I have your known origin linked, and I'm gonna link your super rare and your async so everyone can find through there. But also, um, Matias Twitter is linked as well. So go to his Twitter, and you'll see all of his awesome um, work uh, through his link but tree. I, I I am some way. Evil, because I, I put also in Instagram some things mm -hmm. because I like to people okay. going around. I have, but I have your Instagram linked in the, I have your Twitter, Instagram, and Known Origin already linked. But in the basically, if, if people would write to me, I, 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 I answer basically. Oh, to perfect. So yeah, if you guys had any questions that weren't answered, feel free and DM uh, Mattia. Um, and thank you guys so much for, for joining us for this awesome stream. Thank you, Josie, one more time. Thank you. All right, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Ciao. <laughs>